Senator Bottomer. Uh, uh, Acting Leader, could I join with Senator Dooley in asking that we have a debate on the aviation sector? Uh, we've all been receiving emails from Aer Lingus pilots, and there is a precarious position uh, regarding Aer Lingus that I think needs to be addressed both by us as members of the Upper House, but also by government. And yesterday, Cahirlook, uh, Mr Ray Gray, the Chief Financial Officer of the Dublin Airport Authority, was before an Oireachtas Committee, where he spoke about the impact of COVID-19 in regarding the regional airports, but especially around Cork Airport, the second busiest airport in the country. And 72 million has been made available in the National Development Plan for Kerry, for Galway, for Knock, uh, but not for Cork. Um, and Cork has now no other income other than its passenger revenue and those accrued from its, its, its shops and so on, which are all closed, uh, and does not receive state financial aid, which I believe it should, Cahirok, similar to other airports. Um, passenger numbers acting leader in Cork Airport will fall to below 1 million compared to 2.6 million in 2019. And as members will know, the airport sector, and especially in the south, Cork Airport is pivotal to the economic development of the southern region from a tourist perspective, from a jobs perspective. Uh, it is important that we have a very strong aviation sector. Uh, and our aviation sector is dependent upon airlines, uh, and it's important that cognizance is taken of what Senator Dooley said regarding Aer Lingus. And I would ask you, Acting Leader, in the short term that we've available before we conclude for the recess, that the Minister with responsibility for aviation would come to the House to have a debate on the future of Aer Lingus and our airline sector, but also on our airports. Because forget about the green list, red list. We need airports when we come out of COVID-19. And I can tell you, Cahir, look, I was in Cork Airport two weeks ago, and you could hear the wind whistling against the terminal building. That's the perspective. So I would ask that the minister would come to the House as a matter of urgency. Gurmagot. Thank you, Senator. Senator Ola.